All right, good morning, everybody. Here we are on our first reef. This is our really first chance to get out since red snapper season opened. Um, we've just anchored up. We're on top of a reef about 100 feet deep. And Landrum's got a piece of dead, what, cigar minnow? Yeah. Little, little dead cigar minnow on the bottom. Um, that's his first drop. We've got a lot of individual reefs in this whole area. So if we don't catch anything here, we'll, we'll move to the next one and move to the next one until um, we can pick up those uh, red snapper. Um, we're allowed two per person, and so hopefully we can bring our four home. They gotta be 16 inches, so we're gonna get to it, and hopefully we have some success this morning. All right, so what I'm gonna start out with this morning is this um, double drop chicken rig. On the bottom, I've got a four ounce bank sinker, and this is uh, tied up with 60 pound leader, uh, and these are two seven aught hooks and this is a 30 pound main mono line. So we're just gonna drop that down and uh, see if we can catch obviously some snapper, but also um, we may pick up little bait fish to use on some of our bigger rigs. No, I'm just, I'm getting thumps, man. I'm, I'm sure it's just, I guess it's something little and these hooks are too big. But it, it feels more like something with some heftiness to it that kind of thump you know but all right so i'm going to switch to this smaller chicken rig setup this is a 40 pound mono leader with four alt circle hooks and uh we're not really lighting them up oh here we go that's all i gotta talk about is not catching them and let come on landrum let's get this out of the way He got you in the reef again? No, it's a glide. I mean, I, I got direct right and... Well, there may not be a lot of fish here, but there's trophy fish here. Or big ones, anyway. Oh, you're fishing with <laughs> bonita strips, too, aren't you? That's a big fish. Oh, shoot. Another glide. Dang. All right, time to move. This bite ain't happening. We've been here probably 30 minutes. All right, so this is reef number two today. Um, doesn't really look too impressive on the bottom machine, but you know, you never know. So we're gonna give it a shot. Landrum's got the Bonita strips down. I can see him getting some nibbles and bites already. We'll see what comes of that. I've got this smaller chicken rig. Once again, this is 40 pound mono with two four alt circle hooks. And uh, I'm just trying to kind of see what's down there, if nothing else, and maybe pick up a Tom Tate or a, some, some sort of live bait we can use on some of our bigger rods. Oh, I got him. I got him. Got off. Let's check her. He had, he had some weight to him. It wasn't a little Tom Tate, but he got off. Okay, let's see if I can keep them on this time. Man, he got off again. Must be tearing their mouth or something, or I don't know. There's way more weight to it than just pulling the than hanging on the sh the squid and breaking the squid. Here we go. Oh, here comes some drag. Man. Oh, jeez. That's not what he felt like right off the bat. This is only 40 pound. This is my smallest bottom fishing rig I've got out here. Man, he's wanting to go somewhere else, that's for sure. I think, I think he got off again. Oh, that's why he got off. Shark or something else got him. But. I only had that one hook left at the top, broke the rest of my rig. All right, so I believe it's time to go to some heavier stuff. All right, so I've switched to my bigger chicken rig. This is 60 pound mono and seven alt circle hooks. And this is a 40 pound main. So we'll see if we can hoss up those red snappers before a shark or whatever was getting it down there. 
Okay, I got him. Yep. Doesn't feel as big as the other one, but hopefully it doesn't have a shark attached to it. It is a red snapper. No, it's a vermilion snapper. Yes. All right. Yes. He is going in the box, y'all. This is a vermilion snapper. They look a lot like a red snapper, but we can keep him. He doesn't have an, an out of season. All right. So here's our first fish of the day, little vermilion snapper. But these are excellent, excellent tasting fish. And uh, we can keep 10 of these a person. So we would love to load the boat with these in addition to our red snapper. Another vermilion. All right, y'all. Now we definitely want our red snappers, but we will take that vermilion snapper any day. That is some good eating. Let's see what's another vermilion again. Feels like it's got maybe a little more weight to him. Oh, we got a double. Check it out. Shoot double show. vermilion. Look at this, y'all. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Big fat fish. Look, he was a uh, he was up under the mouth. He wasn't even in his mouth. All right, so what I'm gonna do, since we're starting to catch some fish and we may be here a little bit anyway. I'm going to put this cigar meadow on a free line and just sort of throw it out there and let it sit. I don't really need to go too far because we're sitting right on the reef. We don't want too tight of a drag. We don't want to lose our rod and all this. All right, Landon, get him up. Get him up, get him up, get him up. Oh, trigger. Trigger. The right. landrum got him a good trigger fish. He's 15 inches, so he would have been a keeper, but they're back out of season. They were in season for a month or so, and we got to wait till August to get him back in season. So, anyway, he's got to go back. You know, we're catching a good variety of fish here. There he goes. All right, so this is reef number two and reef number three, and landrum's pulling up something right off the bat. We're still trying to get ourselves positioned. Oh, another vermilion. All right, y'all, so that makes six. Oh, perfect timing. Yeah, it's a good looking vermilion. That's why they're getting off, their mouths are tearing. Yeah. There we go. Seven, another nice vermilion. This is the reason we're losing them. That hook was right there where my knife knife is. Look at that. You know, you catch a lot of speckled trout like that that have the hook just sitting in a loop of the mouth and if you release pressure on them a little bit, they can back out and get that hook out. Look, I got two again, man. All right, eight, nine, 10. Alright y'all, something on the free line. Tighten up this drag a little bit. Alright, what have we got here you think? We have got a red snapper. Red snapper. Okay, y'all. Oh, get him in. Look at that, y'all. That's why it pays to put out something to just sit there while you're doing something else. Yeah, I think he's gonna be a Keeper. 16 and a half. Yep. All right. Oh, get him, get him, get him. All right. All right, so we got number two fish on the free line. I'm gonna get this up. Oh, there's some good color too. Man, you got, you got a nice one. That's a nice red snapper. Whoa, look at this red snapper. All right, yo, look at this red snapper. Heck yeah. All right, dude. Look at this one. Yes. Yes. Man, that is a nice, nice red snapper. All right. 23 inch, right? 
don't have any kind of way to get a weight on them. Look at this guy. All right, we were messing around with that, getting some more flat lines out. Landrum had a rod in, or fade on the bottom, but did he get off? He's been hanging out. I think this is 12. When we get up to about 18, we should. Yeah. See, this is why you got to be real careful with these vermilions. I wasn't even in the mouth, but you know they're not getting hooked. You know, very solidly, whether that's tearing their mouth or I caught one where the hook wasn't in the mouth either. All right. So what we got going on now, since we caught that nice red snapper on the free line, we went ahead and got that rigged up with the circle hook and got another rod and reel set up with the circle hook as well. Well, here comes 13. Dang, look at this fish, y'all. Beautiful fish. You can see that they're, to dif differentiate between vermilion and red snapper, their eye is bigger for the proportion of their body. Probably it's about the same size as a red snapper, but their bodies are a lot smaller. A little bit more brown on the top, not as a deep red. They've got a little more brown up here, but this is one of our smaller ones. We've got some really nice ones in there, but they only have to be 10 inches. This is probably 11 or so. Landrum's just counting them out. There's our, there's our bag of vermilions right there. So that's, yeah, let's leave them looser. Put them, yeah, this makes number 13. We're super excited to get these vermilions. We've got our two red snappers. That was our target species today, red snappers for sure. But, you know, we're catching those in the free line. So hopefully we'll get two more of those red snappers. But uh, these vermilion snappers, I've been trying to catch those really since I've got this boat. Um, got that about, got this boat about eight months ago or so. And uh, just never really been able to pick any up. So really glad to start to catch some of those. So let's, let's get our bait out there and see if we can't get our limit. We've got 13. We see something jumping over there, Landrum. We can we can keep 20 vermilion. We've got 13. So we're going to keep doing that and hopefully get our red snapper limit in the meantime. Okay, I come in. Pretty much just flame up the back. Push them over. Back and then you just Pull that out. Yep. And then it leaves two. Yeah. That's how you butterfly a cigar minnow. And in a way, we're hooking them. Cigar minnows have this, you know, hard head. That's about the only hard part to them. They're real since they've been frozen and that kind of thing. They're real, pretty much mushy the rest of their body. So you've got to hook them somewhere in the head. And so what we're doing is going through the bottom like this and up towards the top and you've got into that you know harder part of their head you still got to be a little careful casting you they could still kind of sling off kind of easily oh oh man right off the bat yeah you got one already over there well i got a a pull yeah well he got off i don't know if he ripped my fish off i'm pretty sure he did Oh, all right, another vermilion. All right, y'all, well, things are starting to happen in here. Well, they have been happening, but things are starting to happen here with the red snapper. We got the, oh, there we go. Man, wishing it'll come true. All right, Landrum, get him in, get him in, get him in. Oh, man, this is another nice one. Oh, this is another nice one. Let's help Landrum to get all this stuff out of the way. We'll deal with our tangles in a minute. The net. All right, come on, Landrum. Stay on the hook. Stay on the hook. He's big enough to dictate where Landrum goes to fight the fish, I'll tell you that. Yep. Oh, 
Oh man. That's a heartbreaker, y'all. That was a good fish. That was a really good fish. It broke off. Man. Oh, there we go. Oh man. Oh man. No. Oh, this this is that light. That's all right. making some headway here. He's tiring out. Hopefully. He seems to be getting tired out. I hope so. All right, y'all. We found the culprit. That's a good amberjack. That's a real good amberjack. Yep, this is a 60 pound, 60 pound liter. That's a good amberjack. Yeah, get, let's get him overboard. That's not what we want. Yeah, let's go. That's probably the culprit. Yeah. And they're just taking us into a reef. Yeah. And breaking us off. Uh, oh, man. I don't know, maybe. We might make this one make. Over. All day. Yeah, 17. Yep. So that's a legal red snapper. So we've got three red snappers in the box, and counting this one. We've got 18 vermilion. So we can get two more vermilion, one more red snapper. So we know what we got to do. All right. Landrum just pulled up a lane snapper. First one of the day. Yeah, first one of the day. And yeah, it is. That's a nice sized one. Good eating. Yes. Definitely suffering from bear trauma, but he's going in the ice box. All right. Fish on. What we got there, Landrum. Hopefully it's our four snapper. Oh, man. Look at this one, y'all. This is our fourth and final, and final red snapper. And you couldn't have asked for a better one. My goodness. Matches that other one. I don't know, maybe even be bigger than the other one. Look at that snapper. Yeah, good job, man. Good job. All right, fine. Got our living. Do the turn thing. There you go. All right. There you go. Perfect. All right, we're going to go ahead and head on back. We got our limit of red snapper and two shy of our vermilion snapper, but still that put us at 18 vermilion. So I think that's a good day. And we got that lane snapper. So all in all, a very productive day. We're gonna get the boat cleaned up and then we'll see you back at the house. <laughs>